So you want to make a brochure or brochure into Canva, you are in the right place. I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. So uh, the very easiest way to design inside Canva is by using some templates because um, the most easiest way to work into Canva or whatever other design is to start from scratch a project. But some people just rather to use templates because people already been created some template and you don't want to uh, just mess around with your mind and your actual brain and you just want to take a look into the template. So if you want to use some templates, go into Canva, create your account. And once you create your account, you want to choose the template option that appears in here. And here I want to look for the keyword of the template that I'm looking for. For example, I'm going to go into the upper side. And here it says search thousand of templates. I'm going to go for brochure like this. Travel brochure. I think I messed up with a U like this. I'm going to hit into the enter mark. And there we go. These are different templates that I can do to, that I can use, of course, to create my very first brochure and to make really, really great presentations. For example, I do have this one. This is called uh, the White Blue Minimalistic Travel Adventures Threefold Brochure. So it's going to be really, really helpful for me to do that. Something uh, really, really useful. If you think this could be useful for you, you just go into the customize this template. If not, what you can do is to click into the X mark and look for more stuff that can be legit or uh, let's say useful for you. In my case, I think that this one is going to be really, really worthy. So once you hit into customize this template, once I hit into customize, uh, here's going to be sending me into the editor, the designer of Canva. So as you can see, these are the um, purple squares that appears into all the elements. So that means that I can now edit all those with my information. So it says contact us, uh, save to Mother Earth. It's time to make action. Let us go zero waste. And here I can just share on or edit my own stuff. So let's say, for example, I want to delete this brand. I want to hit into uploads and I want to upload my own. So I want to hit into my logo of my brand. And I want to, let's say, move that in here like this. And let's say I want to use like come and have fun like that. Come and have fun. It's time to take action. And I'm going to double click and I want to delete all of those options. I'm going to choose something different like it's time to rock on roll. There we go. So here I want to delete this one and I want to go into elements. Now the elements are going to be helping us a lot to customize and design our template. So here, as you can see, I deleted something that was like a flower. I'm pretty sure of that. So what I want to do is to hit into the elements and I want to look for something accurate to my brand. Let's say, for example, music. So if I type music, I want to type to graphics. And here I do have all of these options. So I believe that I saw something into the all mark like this one. So I think that this one actually is like best for me. So I just need to implement that and import that here. There we go. And this is an image that I want to replace. So I want to look for music concert and hit into photos. And here into photos, what I want to do is to look for something that can be more accurate for my brand. Let's say, for example, this one or this one. So what I need to do is just to drag this into the actual square or the element that I want to add my image like that. Now in my case, I want to focus into this image. I want to look for rock concert because I want to see some instruments. I want to see the band. And I want to see a lot of people here. So I uh, want to look for something like this. If you want to see some elements related into this image, click into that option and click into the see all magic recommendations like this. And just like that, it's going to be appearing at a lot of options. Now, related into the photo that you selected, of course. So I'm going to click into this one and I'm going to drag and drop like this. And there we go. It's going to be looking so much more interesting. Now, in my case, I do want to look for um, 
another kind of colors because I think this one is not that accurate for my brand. So I think that I'm going to be selecting this mark and I'm going to be choosing this one. And just like that, I have created something actually really, really new. There we go. So as you can see, we do have this upper part when I select in a specific file, let's say for example this text, these are all the tools that can be helping me to edit only this part of the actual, of the actual, uh, in this case, a text. So I'm going to click into this mark or I can click into this part. There's nothing selected, but actually what I selected is the background. So if I choose this one, these are the different things that I can implement into this actual file. So I can click in here and I can tap, let's say for example, I want to see some black color like this, right? Or I can see, I want to see something else. Let's say for example, something a little blue or something a little bit more um, like this, like something like that. So depending on what you're looking for, just select that option and hit into continue. In my case, I think I'm going to leave it like that. And later I'm going to be changing the colors of the text, the colors of all that. So like this, and I'm going to change this into black color, and there we go. So as you can see, this is how we can implement, we can create our actual brochure like this. There we go. So what I just need to do is to focus into the actual color. So once you experiment and you get usage of all these stuff that you created, I want to click in here, I want to go into the very second page and you want to make the same thing that we just did before here. If you want to take a look into what is the work that has been created, hit into this option, it says the grid view. And here what I can do is to click into this pen and, stay, and change that for let's say contact us. And here I want to choose about the project, for example. I'm going to change, I'm going to delete this part. And lastly, what I wanted to do is to choose the option that says share, download, and I want to choose the specific size that I want to use for for speaking about the print principal stuff. So speaking about the size, I'm going to leave it into, let's say, for example, like this, because I want to have like really, really great resolution. I want to leave those disabled and I want to choose all the pages. So I'm going to deselect this. And here it says file typed. If you're going to be printing your stuff, you don't want to use PNG. You want to choose PDF standard and go into download. Once you make the download, your image should be right away just ready. So if I go into the home part, by default, my template, my project is going to be saved right away into the recent designs. So as you can see here, it says recent designs. This has been added automatically. So lastly, guys, if you want to actually have like more tools available, you might want to take a look into the free trial mode of Canva. So I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description if you want to take a look into how does Canva Pro works. Because speaking about Canva Pro, you have more elements of usage and you can have more advantage of Canva and you can like get more advantage of this actual website, of this actual platform. What do I actually need to do here? Why am I talking about that? Because if I go into the elements and I look, let's say, for example, rock and I tap into graphics, do you might see that there are a few elements with this symbol of edu or with a crown. So that means that all those elements are only available for a subscription mode. So that's the reason why you want to, it's really, really worthy to check it out the pro version of Canva and you can do so much more here into this. Uh, great, great, great application of this platform for getting started here into the designers, to those uh, designers as beginners. So with that being said, guys, we really reached into the uh, end of the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools about this great Canva app. So I uh, can be more grateful. I'll see you guys in the next video and have lots of fun.